Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to Triscoll Christchurch in Cork. I see one or two familiar faces. <laughs> uh, it's great to have so many y'all people here because tonight we're celebrating um, some very special people, actually. Uh, William Field has joined us. Give, give Bill a big round of applause. I really think that uh, the exhibition tries to reflect his life as a printer and the contribution that Fields and, and the family before him, the Lindsays, I think, Bill, yeah, um, made to the social history of the town. This is precious stuff and we need to make sure we keep it. So what we're doing is we're celebrating it while we still can before it's too late. Um, there are two Googles I want to bring up on stage, uh, but before I do that, I'd like to say a big thanks to Boss Aaron. Apparently, you all came up by bus. <laughs> Boss Aaron have been fantastic sponsors, and uh, they're great kind of community activists, really, particularly for stuff like this. I'd like to thank uh, Robert and uh, Willie and the lads, Martin and all the guys uh, who installed that show. We worked under tremendous pressure because we had to design it from scratch. And to everybody involved in the exhibition, a big thank you. And um, I'd like you to welcome now the two filmmakers, Michael Toomey and Kieran McCarthy, otherwise known as Complete Control Films. Um, thanks very much for coming uh, to the Truscal uh, Art Centre and to go up and look at the exhibition of the Tr Truscal uh, Project Space, the new Truscal Project Space. Uh, we're particularly delighted to be the uh, first uh, exhibition in this new space. Um, I'm going to say a couple of thank yous as well, and I'm going to start by thanking Tony uh, for curating this exhibition. Um, the film is a, a separate thing that happened. Uh, between myself and Karen, uh, but the exhibition is something else again. And this is something that happened when Tony saw the film. He immediately just remember him jumping out of the chair and saying, We're going to do this, this, and this. And I was kind of like, What's going on? Uh, and all of a sudden, the film took off um, and became something other than just uh, a, a documentary. So we need people like Tony Sheehan, and we need places like the Truscal uh, Art Centre because when you make something, uh, you want to share it, and when you want to share it, you need a platform. And we don't have a lot of platforms. Um, you can enter a film into the, into the film festivals, and you know it's, it's kind of hit or miss whether people like it or not. Uh, you could try television, but something like this would probably be shown at quarter past two in the morning. Um, and that's the reality of it because you know it doesn't have that kind of ratings. So this is this is the real problem of uh, the arts finding a space. So we need the Triscoll, and I'd like it to continue to support and spread the word. So that the Triscoll, for the following two months, where this exhibition is on, that you could spread the word so that people will come that maybe miss tonight, and you know to promote it and tr promote the Triscoll as well, not just the exhibition and the film. So that's my thanks to, to Tony. I'd also like to thank the team at Truscoe. Robert, I hope you get some sleep this evening. Uh, Seamus for working on the technical. Jamie for the wonderful billboard on the back of the, the entrance to the church. Um, to Tina, who's been a uh, pleasure to work with and is working tirelessly to promote uh, both the exhibition and the film. Um, very, very special thanks to uh, Bill Field who could simply have said no, right? So we wouldn't be here if he had said no. And he was very open to the idea. Uh, it, it must be very strange when someone walks into, your, into your, your place of work or maybe your personal place and say, we want to make a film about you. Um, I mean, how many people would say, oh yeah, grand. So, it, you know, he was very welcoming to us. We promised to, uh, be an hour a day. It ended up being about six hours a day. So I suppose it's too late to apologise for that, no really. 
Uh, and we stayed, we outstayed our welcome, and it took a lot longer than we envisaged it would. But in all the time that we were there, uh, Billy was very welcoming to us, and um, I hope that we treated him with uh, reciprocal respect while we were there. Um, the film was shot because we thought that this was a beautiful place, and that's the motivation. It's not, not because we wanted this, which is fantastic. It's just that Karen uh, spoke to me about it, and we just thought that maybe the wood and the metal and the aspects, the photography aspect and the filmmaking aspect could be something really special. And that was the motivation for making it. But now something else has happened because of the Trisco. Something else has happened now, the film has become something else. It's become a postcard or a, a kind of wish you were here type of um, message for the preservation of our heritage, which we didn't set out to do, but it has happened. And this is a place that we should treasure, as Tony said, and we hope that in the future, in our own town, by the way, not somebody else's town or city, in our town, in Yule. And all we need is to pull resources together, imaginations and a vision. And we possibly could have places like Fields, Watson Stained Glass, Horgan Cinema, the list is endless, Yule Lace, the industrial history. Pull it all together and put it in one place. And then perhaps we can say we have something very, very unusual uh, and very different to anywhere else in the country. Thank you.